Welcome back to the Natural Mediterranean Sewing Channel. My name is Alexandra and today I'll be showing you how to make the pattern modifications to sew style B of the Riviera Caftan. The Riviera Caftan comes patterned in style A, which is a shorter version, and patch pockets on the front. Style B is this longer caftan with the center front slit. I actually give you a bonus on how to pattern and sew these side seam pockets. So stay tuned and I'll give you all the tips and tricks you'll need to know how to make this comfy, cozy caftan. There are a few pattern adjustments that we're going to make to transition style A of the Riviera caftan into style B. The first thing you'll need to do before making the length pattern adjustment is to measure the full length of your body and decide how long you want the caftan. So let me show you how to do that. To measure the full length of your body, you'll start at your high point shoulder. The high point shoulder is easy to find if you're wearing a t-shirt or a shirt. Find your shoulder seam here and then go to the point where it ends right at the highest point of your shoulder near your neck. Put the measuring tape at that point to start. Make sure you stand up nice and straight. Smooth it down up until your waist. And once you have that secure, you can bend over a little bit just to check where the measuring tape falls down by your ankle. I've got all of my pattern pieces here from my Riviera caftan that I made before for style A. So the front, the back, front neck facing and back neck facing. We're gonna make the modifications only to the front and the back piece here. So you'll need your measuring tape that you measured your full length with, some printer paper, pencil, a see-through ruler, and a cutting device with tape. Working with our front piece first, I'm going to measure down the pattern at the same position I measured on my body. Start on the inside line, which is our sewing line. It's not the outer seam allowance edge. Every time you make a pattern adjustment, we're going to be working from the inside sewing line. So start at the high point shoulder, which is right here before it goes into your neckline, and measure all the way down. We're going to stop here, again, on the sewing line, not the seam allowance line. And this is 34 and 3 quarters. I'm just going to run that down to 34 and a half. And since I want to make my full length 46 inches, that's going to be 11 and a half inches. I'm going to add by cutting along this line here and adding a piece of paper. The first thing I'm going to do is block out an 11 and a half inch spacing by taping two pieces of printer paper together. You'll want to reference this line here and make sure that when you tape your spacing in that it'll match up with this line that we've drawn here so that our pattern isn't shifted when we're done adding the length.
One last thing that we want to do to modify the length is get rid of this curved uh, part of the hem for the back. So what I've done was just draw a straight line from the bottom edge here all the way to the other side. Don't cut this off. What you'll do is just fold it up and hide it away when you cut. I've decided that I want my slit to be 15 inches long, so I'm going to take my ruler and add just a notch 15 inches up from the bottom of the sewing line. So not the edge of the pattern, but the sewing line, just because we'll fold up that seam. 15 inches and notch there. For style A, we had a patch pocket that sat right here where the pocket marking is. But for style B, I'm gonna show you now how to draft a pocket to sew into the side seam of your caftan. You have this notch here, right where the pocket sort of ends for the patch pocket. So we're gonna use this as a guide for the bottom of your pocket opening for your side seam pocket. So starting here, we want to measure up the exact opening of our side seam pocket and put a notch here. So usually six inches is sufficient for a side seam pocket, and that's what I'm going to measure up. So six inches up from that notch and put another notch in right there. We'll do this for the front and the back. So make sure you complete this six inch notch on the back side seams as well. From here, I'm gonna just take a piece of printer paper and place that over the side seam. So you can kind of see through it. Here's my bottom notch and here's my top notch. Make sure there's about an inch of paper above that top notch and line it up with the edge of your pattern. So if I look here, I can see my top notch here, mark that on your paper, and then let's also mark the bottom notch. Now we're just going to make a dotted line to trace the edge of our pattern piece here. Okay, so now we have an exact replica of what our side seam looks like with the notches in formation of the pocket opening. Now we can take our ruler and we're going to start drafting the bag portion of the pocket. So the, the bag is the thing that holds the stuff, right? So now let's go from this top notch, measure up a half an inch, and just try to make a parallel line with the top of your paper. Right to the edge there. And we're gonna use this bottom edge as the bottom of our pocket bag, so we don't need to do anything there. Five and a half inches. And I'll just make that five and a half inch line from where I've marked my side seam outline here. So five and a half inches and I'm going to draw a straight line to meet the top of my pocket bag there. And what else I'm going to do is let's just draw a curved line to get rid of that extra fabric and we'll just cut that off. So from this notch, make a mark half inch down and then from there we're going to go inside one inch. So make a one inch line to the inside of the pocket bag. And from that line, we're going to draw down. Okay. And here, we're just going to round that edge, just like so. The only thing we have left to do is add the seam allowance. So I'm going to add just a quarter inch here.
Okay, and then I'll add a quarter inch to the inside. And then I'm just gonna go from this edge, just try to match your quarter inch seam allowance there. We have enough seam allowance from the notch to the edge of the pocket, so that's why I'm not drawing my quarter inch line all the way there. So just match there. And again, here there's enough seam allowance there, so we're just gonna match to this curved line here for the seam allowance to my pocket. Okay, let's cut it out. Now we should have this side seam pocket that will sew onto the side seam of our caftan. All my pattern adjustments are done and now I'm ready to cut. For the longer caftan, I'm choosing a really beautiful cotton twill weave and it's very lightweight, so it's perfect for the drape that we want to not be overwhelming. If you get a fabric that's a bit too hefty or stiff, it's gonna look a bit bulky. So that's why I'm choosing something with a nice fluid drape. First thing we're going to start with is the facing. Just to attach the top shoulder seams together and then do a stitch along the raw edge to finish it. The next thing we're going to do is install the pockets into the side seams where we've made our notches. So place the front and back pattern pieces flat, right sides together, and match them up right at the shoulder seams just so you can gauge your um, orientation. I'm gonna open the side seam here and find my notches for the pocket. One of my pockets and put it right sides together with my front, matching the notches, and then another one, right side together on my back, matching the notches there. So we're just gonna sew it on to the back and to the front at the edge here. You don't need to cut anything off at this point, just sew along the edge to attach the pocket. Now we have our pockets attached where our notches are. And we can close the side seams. To close the side seams, you can start right at the bottom where the hem is. We're going to match the edge. So all the way up. And when you get to the pocket, we'll sew all around the pocket 
and then up the underside of the sleeve. So when you reach your pocket, we're going to make sure that the seam matches and we're just going to pivot as we sew and cut off around this curve. So make sure your seams are matching and take your time. Before you get to the end, don't sew off all the way. We're gonna pivot. So raise your needles, lift your presser foot, pull a little bit to make sure your fabric lays flat under the needle and put that presser foot back down. See, that way we don't have any overlapping end stitches that can come loose. We're gonna pivot again. So right at the edge of the corner, needles up, press your foot up, pivot, and so. I'm gonna sew my shoulder seams next. The last thing we'll do with the serger is finish the edge of the center front seam on both sides. So we're just gonna finish the raw edge. We're not going to sew the seam closed. This is what your caftan looks like before we move to the single needle. So all of your seams are serged except for the center front. You just finish the raw edge and you have your handy side seam pocket. And there's your side seam pocket. First thing I want to do is reinforce the top and bottom of my pocket just so it doesn't tear open with extended use. So just on the edge on top of the existing serge seam, I'm going to follow it down and then come down about half an inch from the top edge of the pocket, do a back stitch pivot and come off. So that'll reinforce your pocket. Before we close the center front seam, I need to locate my notches and put a pin where my slit should start. And that way I know I'll be sewing to there and stopping. So we can go all the way to the neckline at the top edge. We're going to sew with a half an inch seam allowance all the way down to the pin and then back stitch and stop. I can press open the slit and then top stitch these edges down.
This is the perfect dress to have in your wardrobe for those comfy, cozy days. Make sure you like and subscribe below to catch all the new sewing tutorials I've got coming your way.